given question a round steel rod supported in a recess and surrounded by coaxial copper tube determine the magnitude of maximum permissible load for the given allowable stress for the steel rod and copper tube when two different materials are fastened together then it is known as compound ties or struts in this case there are two conditions total load p is shared by these two materials suppose there are two materials a and b then we can say that p is equal to pa plus pb second condition is the strain produced is also equal so we can say that strain in a is equal to strain in b now if we observe this diagram then for this diagram allowable uh, stress for the copper material and steel material is given now in this diagram the steel rod is given and copper tube is given and allowable stress sigma steel is 100 mega newton per meter square and sigma copper is 70 mega newton per meter square now for this stress we have to find out permissible load that is load p is applied at the top of this diagram and we have to find out this permissible load now we will apply these two conditions for the compound ties or struts now when we take total load p is shared by two materials that is p is equal to p steel plus p copper now to calculate this p we have to first calculate the area for the steel rod and area of the copper tube so how to calculate this diameter is mentioned in the question so we have formula pi by 4 d square and we have to take this diameter in standard unit as a meter so pi by 4 into 0.03 square so area of steel rod 7.06 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square and area of copper tube is pi by 4 in bracket 0.06 square minus 0.05 square so it is equal to 8.6 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square now we will apply the first rule total load p is equal to we can write here sigma steel multiplied by area of steel plus sigma copper multiplied by area of copper now this stress for steel and copper is unknown but this area is known so we will put these values and we will get the equation number 1 now we will apply the second condition that is strain in material a is equal to strain in material b now if we observe this diagram then here is the steel rod and for this copper tube there is extra extension 0.1 mm is given so we have to show the relation in between these two so delta l for the steel that is the steel plus this 0.1 mm so we have to convert it into meter plus 0.001 is equal to delta l for this copper so this is the relation now we have to again uh, develop the equation for the sigma steel and sigma copper so we have to write this delta l for steel and copper in terms of sigma so we have relation delta l steel that is sigma steel multiplied by length of steel divided by young's modulus e for steel plus 0.001 is equal to sigma copper multiplied by length of copper divided by e copper now if we observe allowable stress is given in mega newton per meter square and this young's modulus e is given in giga newton per meter square so we will convert this giga newton into mega newton so how to convert this so we have to take 120 into 10 raised to 3 and here 240 into 10 raised to 3 now we will put the value so sigma steel as it is and its unit is mega newton per meter square multiplied by length of the steel so from the diagram length of the steel is 200 plus 50 that is 250 material so 0.250 divided by young's modulus e for steel that is 240 into 10 raised to 3 mega newton per meter square Plus zero point triple zero one as it is is equal to sigma copper multiplied by length of the copper. Now from the 
this fixed surface copper tube is here so length is 200 mm so 0 0.2 meter divided by Young's modulus E 120 into 10 raised to 3 now we have to again develop the equation in between sigma steel and sigma copper so here is the equation now the coefficient of sigma steel is 1.04 into 10 raised to minus 6 so I will divide by this term for this whole equation and we will get the simplified form sigma steel is equal to 96.1 is equal to 1.53 sigma copper so this is the equation number 2 now we will apply this allowable stress so stress in steel is given 100 mega newton per meter square now for if i take this stress is 100 mega newton then this 100 plus 96.1 is equal to 1.53 cu so what is the value of cu that is sigma cu Therefore, sigma Cu is equal to, so when we calculate 196 divided by 1.53. So, it is equal to 128. Now, if we observe, this is allowable stress is given 70. So, we are not going to use this sigma ST is equal to 100. Now, we will take the second. That is stress in copper is 70 mega newton. So when we put sigma copper as a 70 then we will get the equation 1.53 into 70 is equal to sigma st plus 96.1. Now when we calculate this we will get 70 multiplied by 1.53 minus 96.1. That is 11. So, sigma st is equal to 11 mega newton per meter square. So, if we observe allowable stress in steel is given 100 and here is 11. So, we can use this value that is for copper it is 70 and for steel it is 11. And then we will calculate the value of P. Now, from equation number 1 we have to put the value of sigma steel. So, sigma steel that is 11 mega newton per meter square. So, standard unit is newton per meter square. So, we will write 11 into 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 7.06 into 10 raised to minus 4 plus. Now, 8.6 into 10 raised to minus 4 as it is an sigma copper. So, it is equal to 70 mega newton that is 70 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square. So, when we solve this then we will get the answer P is equal to 67966 newton. So, we can write this in kilonewton as 67.9 kilonewton.